if i am a child and if i wanted to represent one of something i might just write hey one of that like one stick or one twig and then if i wanted two i might just write two twigs right one plus one three three twigs you know one next to another i'll just write them and say what i have is just one plus one plus one three and this is called additive way of writing things i just add what's there individually because i know this i like thing stands for one and then i add i i i three i's which is just three so roman numerals follows this idea of additive representation of um, numbers so i'm going to look at one and what is one i'll go here i'll look at my table oh one i write one as i and so it's just i and then two is i need two ones and i just have to write them next to each other so it's i i and three is going to be that's right i i i Four is going to be I I I I. Not really. <laughs> so four is a little. Um, so it it seems right, right to do this, right? Three three eyes for three, four eyes for four. But then it turns out that this is not how we do it. At least not anymore. Uh, so I'm going to put four as controversial. We're going to talk about four more. So after this, what about five? I'm going to go up here. I can maybe put I I I I I. But then. what what what's going on it's already becoming hard to read and we've already made up a new alphabet for 5 so i'll be putting 5 just because that's easier now what what should i do for 6 it gets interesting for 6 because how do i write 6 so when i look at 6 i'll go up here and ask what is the largest thing that i have that's smaller than 6 so 6 lies between 5 and 10 so i know that i can write 6 as 5 plus something So I'll first write my five, which is v, and then ask, okay, what is what is remaining here? There's just one remaining, and one I know how I can write it. I'll just go write the one, and the same thing happens for seven. Five plus two, eight is five plus three, nine. Again, I'm gonna put a question mark here because it's a different way of writing. We do not write v i i i i with a four i's. Right, it becomes very long. So you're gonna put. A, I'm gonna put a question mark here. And we're gonna learn how we're gonna write this. And for ten, I'm gonna go up here. It's exactly. I already have an alphabet for it, so I'm just gonna use that. So let's look at an example. If I had twenty-three uh, with me, and if I want to write twenty-three, how should I think about it? So in my head, I'm going. Okay, twenty-three is uh, more than ten. It's less than fifty. So I should write it as Sometimes ten, and then I'll see what happens. So how many tens are there? And I see that there are two tens. So I'm going to write two tens. Maybe I should use a different color. So two tens x x. Is that enough? No. Now what I have is twenty. So I've taken twenty three and I've made it. I've imagined it to be twenty plus three. Twenty plus three. And this twenty has already been written over here. So now, what about this three? I treat this as a fresh problem, as if I'm starting all over again. I'll ask three. Where is three between? It's between one and five, and I already know how to write uh, how to write three. So just go up here and write three as one, two, three. So x x i i i will give me twenty three. And as you can see, the way if I had given this number, if I had been given this number and asked what is this number, how would I have read it? I would have read it by going x is ten. X is ten, so ten plus ten is twenty. I is one. I I I is three. So this is twenty. This is three. So twenty plus three is twenty-three. So that's exactly the backward process that I would have used. And you can see that in all these cases, the bigger number is what we write first, and then the smaller numbers. So X X comes, and then I I. Over here also, you can see that V comes first, and then the I. So whenever we're writing usual numbers, it comes in this format. The bigger one first, and then the smaller ones. But if you see, in our unique case over here, so we said these two are controversial, right? Four and nine. So what what is it about four and nine? How do we write four and nine? So instead of thinking of four as four ones, where we write i i i i, which uh, in fact people used to do back in the Roman times, and then they stopped doing it because it just took too much space. Uh, and in important documents where there's not much space, we wanted a shorter way to write four. So what is a shorter way to write four? They thought of four as hey, I can write it as one 
less than 5. So I can put an i and then I can write a v after that. So this is the first time you're seeing a smaller number come before a larger number. So they said whenever you see this happening, think of it as not 1 plus 5 equal to 6. Don't do that. But think of it as 5 minus 1, which is 4. The same thing goes for 9. Think of it as 1 minus 10, actually 10 minus 1 or 1 less than 10 for 9. So we read iv for 4 and ix for 9. And when we do this, this is called the subtractive notation. I'm going to write it here, subtractive. Now this name is not that important. It's just for you to realize that when we are writing it here in this way, we are actually using a subtraction. 5 minus 1 and 10 minus 1. Now the most important thing to know about this subtractive notation is that it's super rare. It very, very rarely happens. So I'm going to fill in for 4 and 9 over here. And then let's look at where the subtractive notation is used. So 4 is iv and 9 is ix. So where is the subtractive notation used? So you'll see that it's used very, very, very rarely. In fact, the only special cases are 4 and 9. You're asking me, doesn't don't we use this kind of thing anywhere else? We do, but just for the multiples of 4 and 9. 4 and 9, 40, 90, 400, 900, right? Only for these numbers do you use this subtractive notation. In fact, you can forget 400, 900. They are, they are too big numbers. We can just stick to 4, 9, 40, and 90. So 4, you know how to write it, iv. 9, you'll write it as ix. What about 40 right now? So instead of thinking of 40 as 4 tens and writing x, 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 what we do is that we look at 40 as 10 minus 50. So what, was me, what must I do then? 10. And I'm again saying 10 minus 50. What I really mean is 50 minus 10. I should stop doing this. So 10 less than 50. So 10 less than 50, 50 is L, so I'll write XL. I want you to stop and think about how to do 90. And when you try that, and once you get the answer, look at what I'm doing. So how do you do 90? You will look at this number, 100, and then subtract 10 from it. So 10 less than 100. That's 90.